Brother, where's your wife? She's at home. Eh? At home. You and your wife, you need deliverance. Amen. You understand? Thank you, Jesus. So you are struggling too much now. Amen. Hmm? Come Amen. here. We need to stop this struggle. Do you want to, the struggle to stop? Yes. Eh? Yes, did. Because whatever you are trying to do is failing. Amen. Eh? It's true. And uh, you don't know what to do now. Amen. So I want your wife to know what I'm saying. Amen. I want your wife to know that everything will change. It's true. Thank you, Jesus. You hear me? Thank you, Jesus. Go and tell your wife that that pastor say everything will change. Amen. Because she's giving up. Amen. Your wife is giving up. Amen. In Jesus' name. You are free. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Magananisa. And with me here today is my father, who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is, my name is Liz, I'm Liz Zuma. <coughs> I'm kind of staying around uh, Pumlong. Today, during the service, the Apostle located you and he ministered upon your life. So I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. He said, in my life, everything is stuck. There's nothing that is moving. And that is true. And which areas in your life were you facing stagnation? And how has that affected you? Everything that I try to do doesn't manifest. So... It's true, it's many things, everything that I'm trying, I'm in business, but it's very, it's a struggling, both sides, even if you said there's a breakthrough, breakthrough, but it turns back. And how has that affected you? It affected me a lot, as she said, the apostle said, this thing is affecting even my family, my wife especially, it, does, it doesn't trust that something will happen. But today, in the name of Jesus, he said something will happen. And so how do you feel that today the man of God located you and he ministered upon your life? I, I feel very great and I didn't expect <laughs> Yes, it's, a, it's the first time I get a prophet. <laughs> it's from my first time. Yes. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this? Well, the person that is, in, is watching this is that when you trust in God, everything, there's nothing that is possible. Everything is impossible. <laughs> yes, so I trust in the name of Jesus that uh, uh, stagnation today is broken in the name of Jesus. Come. Satan is attacking you, Mama. They are attacking you when you are asleep. Yes. Eh? Yes. Uh, there's something that comes there to press you down. Yes. And they end up sleeping with you. So it changes to be a snake. So it's pressing you down. You try to wake up. Huh? Yes. Huh? So yes. your body here is not your body. You always feel pains everywhere. Yes. Hmm? Yes. So today we'll stop this thing now. Amen. You hear me? Amen. And stop complaining. Amen. Yeah, you are complaining about everything. Amen. When I touch this, when I touch money, I don't see it. I don't Amen. see what, I don't know where I've done wrong. Don't stop these things Amen. that we are saying. You have done no wrong. God is going to fight for you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Huh? Uh, why people are hating me like this? Amen. Why they hate me when I've not done anything? Amen. That's what, you always say something. You always complain. Yes, huh? yes. So yes. God loves you. You must stop complaining. You will see God fighting for you. Amen. And this attack will stop. Amen. Touch here. I stop this attack today in Jesus' name. This attack that comes in the night, I destroy it today. I destroy it today. You are free.
Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Greetings, viewers all over the world. My name is Jerusalem. I'm from Pretoria, Mabopane. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. He spoke about people hating me and about me complaining a lot that when I touch money, it vanishes and I complain and complain. I confirm it to be true. When I touch money, it just vanishes. I don't know what happens. And again, he spoke about not sleeping at night. I have terrible pains in my body. Yes, I confirm it to be true. And he told me there was a snake that comes at night sleep with me. I didn't saw the snake, but I confirmed the pain and not sleeping to be true. And how has that affected you? Today, today, it, it affects me a lot people. financially. Run forward there. Run forward there. I face Jesus. a lot of rejection. People I help, they turn against me. In they Jesus reject name. me. They speak whatever they want name. about me. They speak lies. They start. They do whatever they want. Even though I help them, like recently I was helping a brother with a car. She was using. He was using my car as a taxi, and I didn't know he was stealing from me while I was helping him. That's things that I experience in my life. Mm. And how do you feel that today God located your case and the man of God ministered upon your life? No, I feel free. I now understand. He told me stop to quarrel, stop to complain. I must just keep quiet. God is doing something with my life. I mustn't worry because it is God. Amen. Mm. And how would you encourage somebody who's watching this? Uh, viewers, if you go through the same thing that I go through, stop quarreling, stop murmuring, stop complaining, because we know it is God working in our lives. He knows us while we're still in our, our mother's womb. He knows us, so let's continue to, to have faith, Jesus to believe and trust in him. He is God. He cannot bring us this far and leave us. Amen. There's a dream that, because I'm looking at, can, can you come here? I want to give this lady impartation. Yes, with this man, come. I want to give you impartation of your calling. You Amen. hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, because you are dreaming things and you are asking God interpretation. Yes. Huh? Yes. And these dreams are becoming too much now. Yes, it's true. That the moment you sleep for a while, you dream. Yes. You sleep for a while, you dream. Yes. So I want to give you impartation. You hear me? Yes. This is impartation. Amen. Impartation, it means we are imparting what God has given you. Amen. Amen. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Can you just come here? Let me touch you because you hear winds. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes. Here in your ears. Yeah. Yes, sir. Leave him, leave him. So be imparted in the name of Jesus. Be imparted in the name of Jesus. Be imparted in the name of Jesus. Let people know you are a prophet. In the name of Jesus. Please leave them. Leave them. Don't usher them. I, I want anointed to enter them. And it has happened. Amen. It has happened. Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Thank you for this wonderful time. My name is Pastor Mika Mavasa. And by my side is Pastor Benson Mavasa, my husband. We come from Pretoria, Pretoria East. So today during the service, the man of God located you amongst the congregants and he ministered upon your lives. So I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and that you confirm it as well. Well, when I was sitting, the man of God just pointed out on me and he said he wants to give me impartation. 
because I have dreams. Every time I sleep and wake up, I have dreams. So he wants to impart me so I can become what God has called me to be, which is a prophet. And how do you feel that today the men of God located you? And how important do you think it is for a pastor to be imparted? I think it's important so they can walk in the will of God for their life, you know, because the man of God is anointed. So I feel like he's a signpost who can lift us up and make us to be able to work the, go the way God wants us to work. And so how important do you think it is to be imparted? Yeah, impartation is very important. Uh, even in the Bible, it talks about impartation. Yeah, so if you know you identify a grace which is higher than what you have, uh, I think it's wisdom to go there just for impartation. Yeah, so it's been working for us and also for our ministry. Yeah, and I would encourage others to come uh, also for impartation. Yes. And how do you feel that the man of God today located you and he ministered upon your lives? Uh, it's always a, a blessing to, to me. Yeah, like personally, you know, every time I come to Charis, I always come with a, an open heart that I know the man of God is going to minister to me. And yeah, it's going to be beneficial for our church. How do you feel? Wow, you know, it's always a privilege and honor to be prayed for by Apostle. I feel happy, you know, if only I can open my heart, you could see how happy I am. Yeah. And how would you encourage a pastor who's going to come across this clip? You know, before you can identify that a man of God is truly called by God, pray to God and truly God will reveal to you and there won't be any confusion. So I'd say to any pastor who would come across this clip, to pray, seek the face of God, and God won't mislead you because the Bible says he knows that are his. So to any pastor who will come across this video, pray and ask for God's direction, and surely he'll show you the way. He won't mislead you. And sir? Uh, I can say that, you know, coming to Charis uh, is a divine appointment. You don't just wake up and come here. So I believe God does speak. He's still speaking that day. And if you can pray, uh, he will reveal to you who Apostle is. Yes. Where's your husband? Yeah. Yeah. So God loves you. Eh? Amen. Yeah. Don't forget. Don't remember the past. Amen. Allow the past to be the past. Eh? Amen. Yeah. Amen. It's not easy for you Amen. to forgive. Amen. But God is helping you. It's not easy for you, but God is really helping you. This man will leave you, leave you and go to friends, and you left alone. Amen. And God is restoring your marriage. God bless. Leave her in this. Leave it. Come. Go will give you a car. Amen. You are crying Amen. to get a car. Eh? Yes. Huh? Amen. Go will give you and it will shock everybody. Amen. 